Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Playframe and Banjo-Kazooie, in fact, probably the finale of Banjo-Kazooie. There's not tons of it left, but two Dans are here, and we're in the no gods or kings room, ready to begin. <laughs> Speaking of which, before we even actually get started, I want to... <laughs> so, so we've been a little ahead in the recording schedule for this, uh, for this particular playthrough, so... Not too long ago for y'all, I guess. Well, no, it's been a while. Whatever. The point is, when I asked y'all to say, hey, could somebody make, take that, like, Andrew Ryan grunty goof that we started goofing around with and actually make the full speech in grunty rhyme? Numerous people did in the comments, and it was delightful. I highly recommend you... My next world is the hardest yet. And you will fail on that, I'll bet. Maybe so. But lots of people made versions of that wonderful speech, some of them even in rhyme, which is incredible. And even better still, one of those, one of those incredible speeches, some other person found and decided to actually make into a video, which I'm just going to cut in right now because it is wonderful. Enjoy this. That was perfect, and so credit for the original speech conversion that was from uh, YouTube user uh, Tim Bates 12 and the video was created by a member of the uh, Play Friends Discord, uh, Hoodie Sticks. Thank you both very much for that. It was, it was amazing. The, my favorite thing is there's little eyes on the hammer and sickle, and like it's so good. It's I so lost good. it. <laughs> In the rhyme and the sound effects, it's, it's so good. Just mwah. A plus. That came out, that video was like done within 48 hours after the episode we mentioned the thing that made the joke and went live. It was pretty incredible as a turnaround goes. I didn't know our homework had this much power. <laughs> I didn't either. Like I always, whenever I say things like that, I always assume no one's actually going to do it or maybe one person will eventually. Mm -hmm. I did not anticipate like at least four versions yeah. of the grunty rhyme. People were ready for that. <laughs> See, what that tells me is people just want to rhyme. <laughs> people are ready to rhyme. Where am I even going? You're going the right way. Yay, that's good. People were ready to rhyme. Oh, I remember that episode where I spent like an hour trying to get I that I do, jiggy. but at least, <laughs> at least you did eventually get it though. Yep, yep, did the one move that I didn't do. It's not this way, is it? Nope. Didn't think so. I'm gonna go up this way then. There you go. <laughs> Gotta save our sister who's presumably still almost about to be transformed, but not Left. quite yet. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember my way around this particular uh, location. I gotta go straight up. You got it. You got it. How's it going, Dan? It's good. Good. It's good. <laughs> got myself a nice fresh cup of coffee for this potentially stressful finale we have. <laughs> yeah, it's... um. Where am I going? I'm just gonna let you... Yeah, no, let's here. let me... Uh... <laughs> You got this. This one. is how I'll learn. <laughs> I have to learn some way. Yeah, it's true. Failure is the best teacher. And look at the rate of lessons I'm going through. Yeah. And by the next, like, maybe like three or four more, like, recordings, we're going to be unstoppable. With yeah, how man. Much we've learned. <laughs> Which is really upsetting given that I'm assuming this should be the finale for all intents and purposes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Have to welcome back everyone to day three of trying to find our way to the final boss of Grunt. 
<laughs> yeah. What if there's just three more parts? <laughs> we don't do one level. It's just trying to. Oh, is that all Brintel? Did we talk about Brintel? I'm. I was just thinking that. I don't remember if we did this specific one. So just in case, let's get some. What? Tootie's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother's dim. I'm trying to get there. Give me a second. We're working on it. I'm learning secrets about you, mean ones. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio-controlled bats. Oh, I, f I feel like we had that one because I that's not gross. Yeah, I, I think I think I remember that one as well. And this poor guy called Greasy Grant was her first and only boy. But yeah, I remember this one. His okay. last name Kirko. <laughs> Greasy Grant Kirkhope. <laughs> Bringing those great tunes. Nope. Wait, I, I thought I'd actually gone the wrong way and was going to double back. <laughs> Apparently, I was so right, I didn't know. Yeah, hey, there you go. Yep. Now you got it. Now you got it. Oh, don't speak too soon. I may learn some lessons yet. <laughs> eh, from my failure. There we go. That's right. This is the B door. Yeah. That was, that was the door I didn't do the thing on. Oh, yeah. I made What's it, everyone. This? I did it. Is there this anything else jamming on theme. Pretty good, right? I love it. I think this is the only time you hear it, too. I think so. Because there's a different version. They had time to set up a whole projection of my sister's face on this thing. Yeah. How'd they get that? Like like Kinko's or something? Like, I really was quick. I admire Grunty's like commitment to production value yeah. <laughs> on this scheme. <laughs> Look at all this. Grunty could throw a party, but like <laughs> That, she needs to leave behind the days of being an evil witch and be a party planner. Yeah, because wow. There's money there. I want to go to that party. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I love this. Banjo 3 is just like 2D's Sweet 16. And like <laughs> Grunty's, Grunty's party planning. Uh, I'm Banjo's ready rare. <laughs> you can hire me at any time. Sir, we are so full of ideas. Still waiting on that call, though. All right, so the gist of it, everyone, is that we have to pass a test. Yeah. A game show. Remember when we were like, there's going to be a quiz on this, like in the ep first episode? <laughs> we were we were being serious. I forgot about the second place prize of just like yeah. a little washing machine cauldron. <laughs> washing machine and a plush missing an eye of <laughs> Grunty. Also, Grunty has a plush of herself. Yeah. And she's had for a good while, apparently, because it's already, yeah. like, shown some wear. What if, like, Grunty got that plush when she was, like, a baby? Oh, man. <laughs> and she shaped her way as an adult to look like this doll. <laughs> Aspirational. I have to be a witch. This is the only way. Ah, well, here we are, everyone. Now, it has come to my attention that there's a potential skip that could be done here. There is a cool trick, but, uh, so basically, go to the left. Okay. And you see that... I guess we should, should we explain, like, I know Grunty explained some of the stuff, but, like, each space here is a different quiz element mm, kind of thing. Yes. Um, so, yeah, every time we go, here, we'll go to the first one. Yeah. Should have come in here with full health, but oh well. We'll be fine. All right. So, so this one's just about general banjo kazooie -ness. Yep. Um. Bubble Gloop Swamp hides a treat. What in the water chomps your feet. Piranha. I remember that being piranhas. Yeah. Electric toasters is a stretch. I think piranha fish is correct. It would hurt. <laughs> yeah, right? That would have been a much different swamp. I like that we get booed when we get booed. the right yeah, answer. Yeah, you get a boo and then I think there's applause when you get hurt. That's very good. All right. So, all right. So we've passed that quiz question. Next. Yeah. Oh, and just for the record, like, try to go forward now. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Oh, so I can't go any yeah, further right now. We gotta, you can't actually proceed. Yeah, so that's gotta, how I, it locks you. Gotcha. Okay. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Me. This uh, could be rats. Could be clankers. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say clankers. Yeah. That could also be the lair at a certain place, but I'm guessing clankers. The color palette's right. Hey, hey. Nice. Hey. Boo. Hear the crowd. They boo and hiss. <laughs> To see you fail, they would not miss. Well, don't worry, we'll get there. Nice. Okay, so go left. All right, now we're going left. So the the little white ones are just free spaces. Yep. So uh, all right, next. Me and her just look just the same. Grunty's sister. What's her name? 
Brentilda. Brentilda. You know we there can't we forget that one. Can't forget that one. But I do like Bog Handle, though. Bog Handle's good. <laughs> if I had not been paying close attention, Bruntilda could have fooled me. Mm -hmm. That was a good... Ooh, a question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make my day. All right. So I think this can be either characters or level themes. Oh, nice. I like that. All right. So let's see if we can recognize. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's a hard one. Slapper the massive whale, Nipper the huge crab, Tank Tup the giant turtle. Ooh. I don't remember Slapper. I think, I don't remember Slapper either. I don't I think, think Slapper exists. I want to say Tank Tup. I'm going to say Tank Tup. Nice. Ooh, okay, good. That was a tough one. <laughs> All right, so go left and you can get that, that Joker one, which the Joker one will give you a pass on any of the squares if you want to use it. It's like Interesting. An additional. All right, I'll thing. take that one. But it can be any question. I don't think I ever came this way when I was a kid, because why? A dead end. Mm-hmm. Win a joker and help it might. Okay. Uh, what you got? Tell me now, or your life I'll chomp. The frog's name in Bubble Gloop Swamp. <laughs> Ooh. Stick ups, flibbits, or sickets? Flibbits. I think so too. Yeah, let's go for it. Ooh, Ooh, nice, 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 nice. So good at this. All right, I think this is where I need to hand it to you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, because we're. Apparently, there's a skip. So, we're not going to. I think our plan is we're not going to actually use the skip to like skip over all the fun of actually playing the game, but he did want yeah. to like, I do, try I it do out want show to show it, it because it's one of the cooler tricks in this speed run. Um, and yeah. I think you can you can you get like enough tries to actually do it. So in this area, um, you can't do any moves. Like I'm trying to go into Talon Trot right now. You can't you can't mm. do anything. Okay. Um, there is a small gap. Um, this is so an yeah. instant death question yeah. then. Okay. This, these are instant death questions. Um, so there's a small gap between these two tiles. Whoa. That you what? can go into this. And because, okay, so normally when you get, when you get this question wrong, um, it will like hit you in a way that knocks you into the lava. But, okay. But I think because you're in a different like stance when it deals damage to you, it doesn't um, knock you into the lava. What? So the game gets confused. Um, the only thing is, there's a chance here. The question we get is a picture question. It'll show us like that that clankers one we got just mm -hmm. a moment ago. If that's it, we can't do the trick. Oh, okay. If it's not, we can. We just have to intentionally get it wrong. Gotcha. All right. Okay, so so I have to I have to go into it and hit A at the same time. Ooh, tricky. All right. Oh boy. So you you can see you know how you slide a little bit. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm you're, I'm trying to do. Oh, you got to hit it like right on the on the edge there. Yeah. Oh man. That's cool. Oh, ah, almost. Okay, okay, okay. Almost, almost got it. So yeah, this is the this is what speedrunners use to shave like minutes yeah, off of the run. This, this skips like not only the entire quiz section, but like a six minute cutscene. So uh, if you don't get this, it's like there goes your run. <laughs> Man. Essentially. And and they get this like, you know, first. Of course. First every attempt. time, like they always do. Hey, okay. there it is. In Bubble Gloop Swamp, there's no doubt. Which of these is the odd one out? All right. Green, green frog. frog uh, okay, so there are no green frogs. So I'm going to say yellow frog. Nice. There you go. Oh, no, we got it wrong. Oh, no. And <laughs> now you can just sprint on through. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> That's so good. So not only this, but Grunty's here, and you can just kind of walk through her. <laughs> I love it. You can just kind of like look around. That's cool. You know, like we can go save our sister. <laughs> Tootie, good news. Tootie, we, we're here. We broke the game. You're really tall. You, in yeah, person. she's much bigger than I expected. That's an interesting um, little play of perspective there. But oh shoot! Now, well, all right, we'll do it for real now, though. Bummer. We gotta test our show our skill. All right, and see now we're full health. That was intentional. Yeah, yeah. See, this is gonna save us time in the long run. Anyway. Okay, back to it. All right, here we go. We got this. 
Tell me now or your life I'll chomp. The frog's name and bubble go Okay, this is the same. Hey, we got this one. Nice. It was a little bit three. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Uh, see the picture on my right. Do you know where you've been? What do you got? Okay, click that's um, click clock wood. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, wait, because it takes you in like a different scene, it mm. like resets the stance you're standing in. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, which route should we take here? What's your favorite mm. path through this nonsense? I kind of like left because I like the music ones. The grunty ones are all those uh, Brentilda questions we've been Ooh. getting through the game. Well, we got to bring some of those back, back yeah. in. So yeah, let's so hang we got a two left up and... there on the left. So I think that might be our best. I like bet. that plan. Let's do it. The walrus on Freeze Easy Peak. What's his name that I now see? Is it Waza? I want to say Waza. It's, yeah. Ooh, Waza. It, I, Waza. This is yeah. it right here. It's Waza. I remember Waza. It just edited this episode. So that's, so that's how I remember. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> you pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this silly sound? I'm going to turn it up. Hmm. The, oh. I think it may be a feather. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shaman's wife? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 that caught me off guard. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it was good. Good joke, Banjo Kazooie. Also, I love this clip art background on when you're answering questions. I, don't, like, I just didn't even look at it. it. Hang on, I'm gonna look at this now. <laughs> <laughs> See the picture on my screen. All right, where are we at? That's Mumbo. Mumbo, yep, 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 yep. This is fun. I like it. See, I don't know. This is such a fun way to end a game. Like, I like it. There, there's still like stuff after this. That's but... a quiz to remember all the stuff you've explored yeah. thoroughly, probably. We're so good at this. You're very good. Next. Monster Mansion gives you a scare. What in the cellar isn't there? Red Feathers, Jinjo, or Jigsaw Piece. Ooh. Um, I'm guessing Red Feathers because both the other two are. Okay. Nice memory. Yeah, you played that one, so I don't remember. <laughs> What's I think, this? I think that mumbo. So this one is a time challenge. So remember all those mini games we've been doing through the game? It's a random mini game. Oh, I gotta do the mini game. Also, I mentioned it at one point. There is like a way to set up a speedrun file of um, you go through the whole game without enough tricks. Um, so when you load in your next save file, you start the game technically with all the moves. Mm -hmm. This is how you get it. You go oh. into one of these mini games and die, and then that's like your final life. So you game over, which takes you to the title screen. And then when you file select, it loads in the amount of moves you had in that mini game. Clever. So it's it's, and and you need a specific mini game too for it to happen. Oh wow. Like, uh, I think you either like the B one in Click Clock or the 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 tile <laughs> puzzle in Gobi's Valley. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's super it's so cool. cool. Like, I don't know how people find these tricks out, but look up Banjo Speed Runs now that you've seen cool. us play through it normally, y'all, because it's that's a good time. All yeah. right, boy, I hope so it's we getting easy. Ooh, this is a U special. Oh gosh, thing. yeah. Watch as the turtles sing their song. Repeat it quick. I did mess this up once last time, so let's see. Yellow, red, yellow, blue, light, purple, light, or not blue, rather. Okay. Let's see if I remember. Yellow, blue, blue yeah. light, and there we go. Boom. Easy! No problem. Redeemed. All right. Redeemed. Next. Crunchy time. All right. Now let's see if we can actually remember any of these yeah. fierce rumors. Yeah. We. Any of them that are the meanest. I'm gonna say that's. Uh, sorry. That's <laughs> a... All right. Don't be smart. You've not won yet. When I was small, what was my pet? It was a greasy warthog, mad vulture, baby dragon. Uh, I think it was a mad vulture. I think so. Yes. Yeah, yeah! We did it. We're so good. That's a secret. How did you know? <laughs> did my sister tell you so? <laughs> uh, she did, but oh boy, we All get right. ourselves into one of these. Yeah. Oh, so, there's a lot of those at the end. Yeah. That's nasty. Oh, we can go left. Oh, there's two at the end no matter what. Yeah. We could go back for the Joker cards too and get That's past. That's true. How? Hmm. Did you get two Joker cards with it? This one is like right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves yeah. a Joker card to play it safe. Um... See the picture on my screen, do you know? Oh, see? We were... Oh, wait, no. 
that we need the other one. That's uh, Gobi. It's Gobi. Yeah, that's Gobi. You're right. Looks like a cookie. Kind of like a. It does look like, like a, a shortbread cookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gobi Valley. I like how it makes the sound effect for each character when you I love that them. too. All Which, right. I mean, it does that in the pause menu still. So to use these, we just like stand on the thing and hit X and that yep. just skips the X one. And it skips nice. It. So I guess we should skip the uh, as many skulls as we're able to. Are there any other jokers that are. Uh, uh, I think there's one to Easy the far to right over, over there. there. Yeah, it's too far. Um, and then there's one, one down there right to the left, which we could do. There's no, there's no deaths in the way of that one. Yeah, like other than the one we had to go by anyway. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah, let's go for that one. Why not? Just hit X. All right. Your Joker misses out a square. Accept the test. You did not dare. Nope. <laughs> All right. Sound time. Here we go. When this piece of music is heard, which moves done by your stupid bird? Invincibility. Hmm. No, Maybe no, no, eggs? that's the boots. That's the boots. That's swamp boots. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Stilt stride, turbo talent. Yeah. yeah. Stilt stride. Didn't know that's what it was called. I didn't either. <laughs> I thought it was just called boots. <laughs> it's on, pronounced boots. Grunty. Put on a pair of boots. <laughs> All right. The crocodiles in Bubble Gloop Swamp give me the names of what they chomp. Egg. Oh, it was Yumblies <gasps> and Grumblies. Yumblies and Grumblies. Grumblies, that's yeah. it. I was thinking of different crocs, the gold ones that clang and oh, want eggs. Yeah. You have to be more specific. <laughs> There's a lot of crocs. See the pictures on my screen. What is it? That. Clanker. Cl yeah, that's Clanker. Definitely. That's the anvil at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Clanker's Cavern. Here we go. We haven't missed one yet. We're on Intent, fire. Like, not, yeah. like, the only one we miss is on purpose. All right. Grunty facts. Do you know and can you tell what on earth's my favorite smell? Sweaty gorilla feet, putrid parrot puke, freshly burst boils. Oh, no. A lot of these are familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I want to say feet. Yeah. Oh, boy. Scary. Okay. Grunty would like feet. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> uh, didn't see that joke coming. Grunty's great. Captain's cabin in Rusty Bay. What's on the bed duvet? I say that's Little anchors. Anch anchors. Uh, anchors. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking it was a uh, was it capstan. What's oh yeah, yeah. All right. All right. We got all that. All right. Let's plan our route yeah. here. I think I, I think we could go this way and then left at, once we hit How this it, like, Well, actually, we could we pass could go all the way around. Yeah, we could just skip. There's we've got three jokers, and we could only have to run into two more skulls to get through this. So yeah, we're like just by going this long way around. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right. And honestly, we could skip that time challenge too if we want. Yeah, that's true. Uh, which character has this dumb voice? It's Mister Vile. I think you're right. Yeah. I just love his voice so much. Mr. Piles. Mr. Mr. Biles. Piles. Mr. Vile. They even have hit, it, like, yeah, it's even his face. face. Is on it too. I wonder if that's coincidental. Probably. Mm -hmm. I like it, though. All right. You pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this silly sound? Mm. Red feather? No, notes. Notes, notes, notes. <laughs> what if it, it's a blue whale. <laughs> Whenever you pick whale. up a blue yeah. whale. The collectible, you know. <laughs> Did you find all 100 blue whales? <laughs> hard to miss them. <laughs> Easy to find, hard to collect. All right, uh, here we go. And you want to yeah, skip, actually, it, or, skip or it? it? Why not? We got an extra. Yeah, yeah sure. Because, like, what else would we, we want to... Well, okay, so we're going to have to do one time challenge no matter what. Yeah, you're right. That's Unless true. we hmm. go get that other joker. Well, but we got to go past the skull to but get it. But we can it. use one of our jokers. True. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that math checks out. I'm not even going to think too hard about it. All right, next. In Bubble Gloop Swamp's marshy mound, what thing's highest above the ground? Ooh. A turtle, a muddy mud hut. Turtle, a mud hut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. See, I, I like that question because it's not like a, I don't know, like you'd have to pay attention to the level or at least yeah. remember the level well enough. That's what I like about all this. Like it's how attentive have you been to lots of details as you've gone through yeah. of, a, of a wide variety of like kinds of details. It's this is a really fun like final level. Yeah. See the picture on my screen. What do we got? 
Uh, that's Rusty, Rusty Bucket. Bucket. Yep. Rusty Bucket. Doot, 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 doot. We, we've, get, we've been getting pretty good luck with the pictures. Some of yeah. them are really hard. All right, grunty facts. Because of all those spells I lend, whom at school was my best friend? Fatty Hattie. I think it was Fatty Hattie. I think it was Fatty Hattie. Yeah. I remember fat shaming being yep. involved. Yep, yep, yep. Fatty. <laughs> yep, yep. That was right. We were mad about that. <laughs> Uncool, grunty. I mean, well, actually, if that's just her name, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's her name. Uh, all right. Bad on Bruntilda. For yeah. For dishing. Unneeded gossip. Uh, bottles are which move was learned used to prepare? Uh, where, where was this? I didn't First hear. Level? Didn't see. So, talent trot, I guess. Whew. Okay. I'm glad because I didn't see where she said. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> All right, we'll skip in this one. Uh, see the picture on my screen. Ooh, treasure trove. That was I that one note. <gasps> You're right. Separated. You're right. Good eye. Man. Okay. All right. Hey. Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Mm, mm. Maybe like uh, Rentilda? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this one? Lumpy Dumpy. Namby Pamby. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if those were like in development names. I'm kind of wondering. A lot of these names feel like uh, like options that were on the yeah. list that they were picking from to come up with for everybody. Definitely. It keeps me safe and free from harm. What have I as a lucky charm? Dragon's foot, loogie filled hanky, shrunken head. Shrunken head, I think. That feels right. I could also see it being dragon's foot. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we missed one. We missed. We did it. Oh, thing. no. Uh, well, the crowd was happy, though. Yeah. Gotta please. Gotta please the crowd. Yeah. That was for the crowd. That no, was, it was just for the, for the crowd. crowd. All right. Let's do this again. We can do it. I'm not pretty. I'm quite a mess. What do I hide under my dress? A reinforced girdle of flea circus. Flea that... circus, I feel like. All right. I can see it being. Yeah, yeah, that feels right. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Massive that, Boomers that is like one, too I was easy. like, I feel like I remember that. That prompt. Uh, <laughs> all right. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Who was that? Ooh. Bazo the Seal, Boggy the Polar Bear, Waddle the Wars. I think Boggy. I think it was Boggy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. We can skip these three. We can skip it, yeah. And just do, and just do a banjo and a... Yes, yes, yes. Grunty question. Treasure Trove Cove had a feature. What was the giant armored creature? Uh, snipper. Huge hermit metal crab. whale, mighty tank, giant hermit crab. Nice. Doing good. Skip. And... Grunty, Grunty facts. Right How dare you look. Stop that stare. What color undies do I wear? <laughs> Sweaty yellow, streaky brown, spotty I'm gonna purple. I'm going to say streaky brown. It's got to be, right? <laughs> Probably. This is it's rare. rare. <laughs> it's rare. What? Oh, rare. Rare. We're surprised. You developed a reputation. Yeah. Grunty's cute. She's quite a dame. What was my first boyfriend's name? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, greasy, it's it Greasy, greasy Grant. Grant. It's Greasy Grant. Grant. Yeah. Oh, thanks yeah, yeah. for the review, yep. Matilda. That was, that was good. Could, we, we could go get a little health. That's true. You, know, you want to try it's like it? I don't want to leave the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's give ourselves one more question. <laughs> a bubble fish who's really tame in Clanker's Cavern. What's his name? I think it's Gloop, right? I believe it's Gloop. Gloop. Yep. Nicely nice. done. So look at that. Topped off. Earned that health. And we're skipping that nonsense. We've done it. We beat the quiz. Woo! No one can win, I was assured, by the makers of this board. <laughs> it's not fair, I want to win. How I longed to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show, while up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure. All the credits you'll now do. <laughs> That's it, this is roll credits. Roll credits, I guess. Hey! <laughs> Which prize shall we take, though? The cauldron's pretty adorable. <laughs> 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 hey! 
Kazooie, oh, be nice. Oh, Kazooie, dunk it on Tootie. <laughs> okay, Tootie, we can go home. You're right. Yeah, that doll moves. And now we get the credits. Yay. Chief of Ideas, Greg Grunty. I do love, yeah, because they've got like their little nicknames all mm -hmm. in there. More ideas, George Blubber Andreas. <laughs> hey, your bottle so you can see his eyes. <laughs> still creepy. Yeah, still, still a problem. Deputy keyboard tapper. See, I think that's the original Jinjo face. That, I the, think you're right. That, the pop -out. I think you are right. Yeah, the new assets for the talking heads are uh, a little upsetting <laughs> yeah. compared to the compared to the original. That one's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you get to see all the little enemies. I like these. Like even what was it? We played Donkey Kong and they did yeah. this. Like I love this. Rare, like Rare did this all the time, and I really loved it. It was a great touch. See the full cast of enemies they made. And hear all the little sounds. Ugh. <laughs> and you, of course. Brittle. <laughs> that voice. Um, yep. <laughs> Good old blubber. Oh, man. Nipper. Ah, I thought it was snipper. Ah. I was wrong. What a fun game this has been. We'll definitely... We'll do Banjo Tooie at some point, and we'll, uh... Yeah, a rainy day. Well... Yeah. <laughs> we'll reevaluate. Tank top. And... Nope, nope, not tip top yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a delight this game is. By the way... There's tip top. There's tip top. Big noisemaker, Grant Clinker Kirkhope. Kirk <laughs> Good job, Grant. Thanks for sticking music in our heads for a lot of Forever. years. Yeah. Forever, yeah. It's like once Click Clock Wood is in there, it's there forever. It's just <laughs> it's just forever cemented in our brains. Yep. Now that I'm looking at this walrus his head and face closer, it's a little It's a little upsetting. Yeah, he's like, lack he's of nose. Upsetting. I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't have, like, a little, like... Feels like this feature's missing. Yeah. Paper pusher. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I, I was noticing, like, the text was, like, colored by certain, like, pickups and stuff like that, or just, like, default like that. And I yeah. was trying to figure out what the other one was, because it was, like, a pixelated blue gradient. I noticed that too. Like I, I, and I like that look a lot. Like it feels, yeah. it's sharp and kind of modern, but still feels old school. Yeah, like, like that, that one. That, yeah, 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 yeah. They had one of them though, and it was like the egg pattern. Yeah, see, I like that pattern there a lot. Like that, it's sharp and HD, but still looks retro. Yeah. It still fits. It just a little bit of variance. <laughs> Poor snorkel. Poor snorkel. He gets ripped in half by that anchor, too. And stuck again, I guess. Yeah, what? What do you do? <laughs> Naughty, same name as... Naughty. Yeah, you're right. Kong. It's a crossover. So it's the one we always wanted. <laughs> Credits for the shinier version. <laughs> That's great. That's a, Yeah, good that they're getting in there as well. Nabnut. Scribblers. What was the... Oh, Conquer, duh. I'm like, what was, what was the other squirrel? Big cheeses. Oh, like the, uh, studio heads? Mm, probably, yeah. Oh, we're looping back around oh, so the yeah, previous characters because we got two more credits now. Yeah, we're out of characters. <laughs> uh, see, like that text there, I like that yeah, a lot. same. That's a great... Why can't Square ever figure that out? So, like, sorry, I've just, they've released, like, some a look at what the updated pixel versions of Final Fantasy 1 through 6 are gonna be looking like, and I'm upset again. Is it just Ariel? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, the character sprites are retro, but still also new. They still redid all of them, and for, I can't understand why. And then the text is, like, a squashed, garbage-looking Ariel. It looks terrible. It's such a bummer. Yeah, when I played the... FF9 and it brought it back to like the pixel art text yeah. and I was like, this is great!
great. Isn't it so nice? It looks so much better. It's much more cohesive. Because there, there are definitely like pixel based fonts that are just super unreadable. But oh, yeah. Like, I felt like it was pretty, pretty easy to read. And like so many games, so many modern games with a retro pixely aesthetic do pixely text that works fine. There's yeah. so many solutions available. I don't get it. Don't get it. It's weird seeing Phil Spencer's name in this. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, I understand. Dude, it. I didn't, it didn't even weird, think though. about it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good voice again. Yep, here it is. I really want to see, like, whoever recorded those burps. It's, it's like, gotta be Krant, right? Like, <laughs> I feel like half of the sounds were just him. Uh -huh. To hear him tell it anyway. Maybe some of them are like sound effects he found somewhere, but like... I can see the burps being sound effects in some yeah. places, but still though. I like the dream. <laughs> <laughs> These credits are way longer than, than they used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So see, this whole thing is skipped with that... that yeah. Skipping the, uh, the final sequence. Yeah, because I can't, like, manually skip this. So, yeah, speedrunners have to find a yep. way to skip this. Yeah. Glad they found one. That's cool, because, like, I feel like they would have hunted for it even if, you know, it didn't skip the minigame yeah. portion. And I love the thought that, like, even if they hadn't found the solution they did, I bet they'd have found some other one that also skips this. That f They'd have found another way to yeah. make it work. Yeah, Because yeah. they they're resourceful. <laughs> so cool. And they don't give up. And as we record this now, like, Summer GDQ starts in less than, like, 24 hours. Yeah. We're very excited. We are very excited. Oh, so it, it came out on the episode today. We were talking about, like, when whenever a speedrunner's like, hey, if we figured out a way of, you know, passing this one door or whatever, they actually put, like, bounties out for those. Really? Some of them, like, are like, cash prizes if it's, like, a big enough community. That's stuff awesome. Too. Like, figure out a way to do this consistently and... Either, like, sometimes that's usually how, like, a trick gets named, is, like, the person who figures it out or something. That's, I love that. Or there's, like, a cash prize. Because, uh, that's what some people do. And that makes total sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, now that, like, now that I think about it, of course. Like, what a great, easy, obvious solution to it. But I love that that... <laughs> I love that. Now, all that needs to happen, Microsoft, is Banjo 3E. <laughs> Banjo 3E. Come on. <laughs> It would not take, especially if you used our very good idea to... Okay, we're done. <laughs> Use our very good idea to make it look retro like this. <gasps> He's it... grilling our fish! <gasps> what? I never noticed that before. <laughs> Mambo. <laughs> Baron Bird did good. What else is he grilling? It's... This looks like orange slices. It does look like orange slices. I'd never noticed the fish before. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rare Microsoft, it would not even take that many staff to make a banjo game that looks like this. <laughs> Small team. Big earnings. That's cute, so... So much goodwill. Dude, he's like, what are you partying for? Grunty's still out there. Oh, right. <laughs> now we're off. And we go back. <laughs> anyway, and here we are again. <laughs> here we are. Now all our prizes are gone. So... Question: If I quit out of the game right now, we don't have to do the pre the quiz again, right? I think. Let's I don't know. Let's find out because there's something I need y'all to s actually. Oh yes, of course. Will that still show that though? Because we've saved two. I'm pretty sure it will. All right, y'all, we're gonna try this because there's something that we've been meaning literally every single recording session to show you, and we keep forgetting. There's a cutscene that plays that's unique if you just like exit the game. If yeah, you if first... you get a game over or you exit the game, it plays the game over. So let's uh let's see if it plays because I've I don't think I've ever done this uh yes. after completing the game show and getting 2D back. <laughs> so, what's gonna happen? Let's see. Let's find out together. It's a great cutscene, though, that you all need it's to a, see. It's a very... <gasps> no! <gasps> Alright, tell you we what. We gotta load a new game. Yeah, alright, new game. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, everybody. This is too important. Too important! We're going to the kitchen. Sit tight, everybody. Kitchen time. Carrie, cut ahead, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I think you might be able to skip. Yeah. Yes, it's awesome. Okay. All right, here we are. So, uh... Oh, shoot. We lost. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Beans. Rough. It's got to be, like, fastest time to failure <laughs> possible in this game, right? Okay. This time. I do love that they actually account for the fact... No, 2D saved. Of course, that cutscene wouldn't make sense. What? What? Is it too spicy for Microsoft? Wait a minute. Wait it. Hmm. That's interesting that it also doesn't work there. Do we have to get through? Hang on, everybody. We're doing some science right now. Y'all just sit tight. All right. What, what's, what if we... What if we... Maybe we, if we get into the into the lair. If we can get into the lair, maybe then if we quit out, it works. Because then we see some more cutscenes once we get inside. Like, because... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we don't see... The first time we see 2D in, actually inside the machine it's, is after yeah, we get yeah. into the lair, I okay. think. So, okay. okay. All right. We're doing this real fast. Y'all sit tight. Because it's essential. Yeah. They fell for our trick to allow us to keep playing Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> it's episode, you know, three more episodes we got to record tonight, you know? <laughs> bottles, bottles, shut up. I know. Bottles. Bottles, shut up. Bottles. Those are pretty good voices, actually. That's because who's the hard one? <laughs> I got any, any more water. Yeah, you gotta moisturize. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I <laughs> do the we'll voice act the whole game now. Yeah, no, we were. <laughs> oh, this the stuff people have missed out on. Decline training, please. I know. <laughs> <I'm>, I, <laughs> that's, that's terrible. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> Thanks, bottles. Okay. Oh, I can't run. Can't run. <sighs> okay, can't walk run. like a simpleton. Stupid bare feet. <laughs> Carrie's not going to cut this out. Nope. This is all going in. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> uh, now you'll know what, else, what we sound like when we don't think we're oh, being yeah. recorded. Great. Oh, boy. Ugh. Anyway, vegetables. <laughs> vegetables. My whole life, I thought chives and green onions were like the exact same thing. So I had a completely different arc on that. For the longest time, I had... Until, like, somewhat recently, like, within the last three years, I didn't know what chives were. I assumed they were something similar to, like, cloves or something. Mm -hmm. And then once someone pointed out, no, they're these, I was like, oh, so green onions. So until literally you just said it right now, I didn't know they weren't the same thing. I don't know if they're, like, are they just, like, younger, like, green onions? This is worth Googling. Yeah, let's find this out. Okay, yeah, so we needed to see this scene first, I think. Which we can also probably skip. Yeah, here we go. Good, 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 good. They are, in fact, a different thing. Oh, good, 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 good. Glad we didn't, like, give any misinformation. Chives do look like little green onions. They though. really do, though. You or, could be... Or, or scallions, if some folk... No, by that Scall... Name. Are those the same thing? Scallions and green onions. Okay, man, this is comp this is more complicated, more complex than I thought. Okay, so um, now, yeah, now so I now should be able try. to quit, and this should work, I think. Yeah. Unless by beating the game once on no, this no, no. console, we've permanently deleted the cutscene. There we go. Okay, you have to get. Here the fade we out. go. Okay, enjoy everyone. Enjoy. I will. <laughs> This is just the good end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cannon. <laughs> Young Dan was very confused. <laughs> the voice. <laughs> the voice is <laughs> over the top. It's so over the top. So like, we couldn't... We couldn't complete this playthrough, y'all, without, yeah. like, hot grunty. Yeah. 
I was always scared of this too. Like the like the, the creepy. This is actually some body horror right here. Duty. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I remember being spooked as a kid. <laughs> Uh, all right, good. Now you've seen it. Now the playthrough can actually finish. Now we can beat the game. Now it's safe to beat the That's, game. I didn't know that they just didn't play the cutscene once That's, you got to that certain point. I love that they thought of it. Yeah. Good job, Mer. So thorough. Okay. Back to Game Boy by the Fire. So we can do this thing. I, I think it, we got a unique intro. Animation. I've never seen that I think, before. I think I there's think. rare ones. That's really great. I think one of those kitchen ones, it like rotates the wall like a hidden door. <laughs> You're going to make me go through this whole thing again to prove that I remember how to get there. Oh, shoot. We didn't activate the cauldron by the thing. Um. Oh, hmm. so coming up here, go in the pipe. Go in the pipe. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okie dokie. Yeah. Bottom pipe. Yeah. Bottom pipe. Got it. Just so y'all would know, I would have found my way there. Yeah. Easy. Perfectly. Yeah, easy. All right, which one is this going to take me into? I don't remember what the other This, this should be right by Clicklock Wood. Oh, it's Clicklock. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. Brum. I love going through the grass like that. That's so nice. It is very. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bull, no. What's the bull's name? We didn't get to know the bull's name, did we? Yeah, what's the bull's name? I don't know. I don't think it ever talks to you, which is weird. Yeah. It's just a bull. <laughs> just a bull. Angry bull. Playing through this again has been a delight. It's, I always knew whenever you and I finally got to this, it was going to be a treat. And yep. boy, it has been. It's been so much fun. <laughs> but I'm ready now. Like we've put off, we've put off Dark Souls three for a long time. Yeah, I, I'm, I've been getting the itch. I'm like, oh, I, I want to go through these again. It's time, and I will, I will have alerted the uh, Discord, the Play Friends Discord, in advance that we're starting. Uh, just so they can know to be prepared for the invasions and such. Yep. But uh, okay, I think it's time for you to take over to beat the game. Okay, here we go. You're on. Let's uh, let's do it. Flip for victory. Now that we've flipped, we're ready for anything. So this is when the game rewards you for being a completionist. Yeah. Also, hey, I think we got an extra life because we reset. Oh, nice. <laughs> Which I might need those because this is actually a quite hard fight. Yay! Yeah, Kid Me had a hard time with this. Yeah. Dolt Me has had a hard with this. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. <laughs> so you're like, we still have six chickies left. Pretty good. And yeah. you, need, you need to do that to get to the, the final uh, the final fight. Also, hey, look, it's the lab <gasps> that we just saw in it. You can get in the lab. How fun. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really <laughs> makes me look a winner. You look a winner. And Klungo's nowhere to be seen. Hey, Klungo, where are you? We never seen him. <laughs> There's, oh, unfortunately, they never made a second game. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's going to be, it's going to be like, what's going to happen when we play that game together and I end up loving it? Because mm, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so then you've got these other note doors here. Oh, yeah. With, uh, with some higher values. I than forgot all about this. Need. <gasps> Look at that! What's that do? Now our max is raised. Nice! Alright, I, I don't know if it raises your max or refill? just refills max. Yeah, don't you raise the maxes with like the Cheeto books? Yeah, the Cheeto books raises the max. Yeah, so this is where you can right. just go to get a full refill, which is nice. Full refills are very appreciated. Mm-hmm. And that's not all that secret. Hey, look at this. There's one more puzzle. How did I forget all this? It's been so long. <laughs> Cute. And look what that does. Yeah. Double defense. <gasps> look at that. Red honey. Forbidden honey. <laughs> the forbidden honey. It's back. We've earned it. Um, did I get all the... No. I was like, I don't think I got red feathers. Oh, uh, boy. That's going to make that fight a lot easier. Yeah. There we go. Yay. Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Tough gig. <laughs> visitors for Dingpot. I like visitors. Dingpot wasn't in the credits. <laughs> Dingpot, you weren't in the credits. <laughs> to leave the studio before they shipped. <laughs> <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> we remember, buddy. Yeah, he just told us. <laughs> he really wants sympathy for that one. Kind of walking in on some drama here. Yeah. Should I? Should we come back? Should we? <laughs> we'll sort her out. <laughs> we'll talk to her. Is Blue Sean in? I, uh, I always, I, it's like such a common thing, but I always like when it's like, hey, here's the like underling that's like, I just, can I just help, get rid of her, help me <laughs> please. out, please. I hate my boss. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Here we go. Here it goes. It's the final fight. The boss. The showdown. All right, uh, everyone, forgive me if I take a few deaths here. There, Nothing. there, there is instant death in the game still. <laughs> so you can uh, fall off things. Yeah, you can fall off. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Love that sound effect. Mm -hmm. Also, she uh, snipes. She's very accurate because she she throws the fireballs where you're going, not that, where you are. That I remember. <laughs> also, her hitbox is very big. So if I don't do that attack early, you will run into her and get dealt damage. Ooh, that I'd forgotten. A charming game, man. It's been great. And you're doing great. No problems. Yeah, see? Big hitbox. That broom really should like go in for repairs. It really should. Although her like beating it up is like fixing it. That is true. It gets it gets more zooms each time. <laughs> Final one. There you go. Bam. Magnet spell. Oh dear. So this spell uh, tracks you down. Okay, I missed it. You can either do two things there. Um, one is the, uh, you can do the gold and vulnerability feathers, or you can down, um... Nice. You can, like, butt stomp? Uh, yeah, you can butt stomp, and when you're recovering from it, you are invulnerable. Whoa, no. Never knew that. It's a really tight window to it get those is. shots in. Yeah. And you gotta jump up on a ledge. Hate that. Eh. Oh no. But that just whiffed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually you can tell if you've moved, it'll whiff because she's very accurate. Okay. We're kinda nailing it here. So Dang it, I did it too <laughs> did it too late. Oh well. Um, she does drop health, though. So That's there. nice. And you've only, like... You're doing pretty good. Unless there's an instant death, I think you're covered. Now, it's oh, an airborne walking battle. into her. It's not good. Nope. It's so hard to aim. <laughs> yeah. And she's... Ooh, and if you get hit mid-air here, that's nasty. Yeah. Will that break your flight? It doesn't break your flight. Thank goodness. But... Ooh, sniped. It's a long range. Doing good. Nope. <laughs> Almost <laughs> fell to my There's a kill there. plane down there. Yes, there is. <laughs> You're doing it. Yeah. Ah, it's playing chicken. <laughs> yeah, this section's always not great. She's a moving target. That's the hard thing. Like, the, the snowmen are precision targets, but at least they're standing still. Ugh. Here you go, you still got half of your feathers. Ooh. Oh, I thought you had it. Dang it. Whoa -ho. Going for Dang. some long range shots, I love it. Yeah. Just trying to take advantage of when she's actually... Yeah. Got nice! That's... And that's this phase? 
Very All nice. Right. Now she's got a shield. How do we do with the shield? What are we gonna do with a shield? We don't have a move for that, bottles. What are you gonna even do? What? Jinjos? Jinjos, they're helping us out. Yeah. One down. Woo! Go, Jinjo! Get on to yeah. yeah! Very nice. By the way, th as of this point, this episode hasn't come out yet, but we were wondering in one of them if, like, uh, we were saying the fan gamers should make Jinjo plushies. They the do. They, are, they, they have them already. <laughs> they, of course. That's the thing that exists. <laughs> I'm going to go order one after this. Very good. All right. Doing good. And now, if you have played Smash Brothers, something's about to make a lot more sense. <laughs> the final phase. It's a lot of fire. Nice, you did it. The mighty Gingerator. <laughs> Feed it eggs. Doing good. Whoa, generous window. That's awesome. What a good trick. Nope. I think it's five. <laughs> nice dodging, though. Man. Look at him duck and weave. And you thought you were going to die. Look at that. <laughs> Beautifully done. Ginger. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Uh, perfect. Cool. <laughs> See, your Jinjo failed to work. He's nothing but a feeble jerk. She's very confident. Yeah. Even when backed up against the wall. Still rhyming. I love the little teeth chattering. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so good. For one final spell. Oh, hey, where? She missed. <laughs> she tried. Oh, so good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Will Klungo get to her in time, Dan? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Hey! <laughs> also, look at little Jinjo. This is the bonus scene if you get everything. The game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. I think this plays no matter what. There is an addition to the end of it. Right, 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 right. Also, and rares being rare. <laughs> yeah, here's a human also, by the way. Here's a human. And lovers on a jet ski. Lovers on a jet ski. Plumber's always in like the end credits, even in Tui. Really? Just, like he's just hanging out at the end. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> a job well done. <laughs> I like how they're still relaxing, and then they're like, "I guess we'll ask Tootie." <laughs> <laughs> we in the clear? Yep. Oh man, watermelon does sound good. 
It does. I need to get some. Have you ever had watermelon with, like, was it salt? Watermelon with salt? I don't think so. I think that's like a thing. I've never had it. Yeah, where'd you hear about it? I think Persona. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dingpot got his credits Ding, moment. Dingpot, yay, you did. And hey, Kongo. good for you too. Hey, you guys did it. You deserve it. And all. Oh, I see. Now we get the there. full credits. All right. Yeah. Now I want to see. I want to see some names. I want to see the Ball. name of this. Ball. All right. Collie wobble. Collie wobbles. That's good. the Britishest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Quarry, very That's good. Good job. Solid naming. Solid name, yeah. Gruntling. All right, all right. It's very Kremlin. Yeah, 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 very. Ticker. Mm. Hey, big butt. Big butt. What? We're not expecting that. That's, I did yeah. not remember big butt. That seems grublin. All right, that I like a lot. Good name. <laughs> big butt, though, feels leaky. like I just couldn't. Yeah, I like leaky, but it feels like big butt's one where, like, okay, I can't think of a bull's name. How about big butt? Here's big butt. Lock up. Lock, mm -hmm. and it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, we'll finally get to see. Is it snacker? Little lock up. Oh, yeah, let's see if the name's right. Yum yum. Yum yum. I like his little the yeah. animation <laughs> or sound he does. Snippet. Look at a little lockup back there. Having a good time. They did like uh, snacker. snacker. There you go. There he is. Gloop, gloop. Feels like they did like a lot of, I don't know if they, like a lot of vertex animation on this. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised. Maybe, maybe that's like a, uh, maybe. Is that something you have to do with low poly stuff? I've never really like animated. I don't in think so. Like, like that, I think so. a lot of low poly stuff was sort of done, sort of in like a um. And forgive me all, like, I'm kind of speaking from very limited knowledge here, but I think, like, a lot of it, a lot of times you'd have, like, all these meshes as separate pieces, like the Mario 64 thing, right? Where he's, like, Mario is a whole bunch of different blocks mm -hmm. kind of stuck together. And you, it's the same with, like, Final Fantasy VII characters. They're, like, a bunch of cubes and rectangles kind of all stuck together, but they move, can move in sort of, like, a hierarchy, almost like a joint skeleton type thing. Uh, so it's not, like, deforming the mesh with actual bones inside, soggy, with you actual joints inside, things. but it's just sort of like a little hierarchy of, uh, you move the arm, like, the shoulder and the rest of the arm pieces sort of move with it. This sort of seems like a thing where they were, like, actually animating the actual vertex data of individual points on the model. Uh, in the same way that they used to do on, uh, Spyro and Crash way back in the day, which is why it's, all that animation was so loose and cartoony mm -hmm. in a way that was just... You couldn't do that with skeletal deformation. Maybe skeletal deformation was just out of the question back then. Oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't remember. I, I wish I knew, because it's such a, like, unique feel yeah. to it, and it's really charming. Yeah, that, I, this... I, I think that's why I like low poly stuff, is I just like seeing that kind of... Yeah, see, this is like, this is a model that's a lot of different pieces. Some pieces are, like, moving individually, but, like, they're the legs and the wings and all that are not all one stitched together mesh, which they pr is probably how they do it today. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it's just like a whole bunch of different pieces sticking out of each other. Good stuff. It's pretty good. Yep. Very, um, what's the, what's the snake's name in Donkey Kong? Oh, yeah. what is that snake's name? It's just like that. It Portrait does. Chopper. Oh, look, there's the, um, oh, that's yeah. the original villain that was supposed to be, uh, oh, the yeah. villain Banjo-Kazooie. I remember you pointing that out. And yeah, he, he's never in, known that. He's in Banjo Tooie, actually. Limbo. That's pretty good, actually. I like mm -hmm. that name. Limbo. Ripper. Whoa. Are we gonna see the the flower pots names? Do they have Please. Nibbly. Nibbly. This enemy I always thought was a Mario Kart 64 enemy. I don't know why. This <laughs> doesn't seem right. This kind of looked like a Mario. Yeah, I can see it. We we cheated with, well, kind of cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Grimlet. <laughs> Flotsam. Nice. So many enemies. Seaman Grublin. Mm. Uh, hi. <laughs> chump. <laughs> what a chump. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't remember chump. Snare. That's very good. All right, Snare yeah. bear. Points for that one. That's yeah. very good. You got it. <laughs> Big clucker of a rare, rare. shining. <laughs> Zubas. 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 Grumble Grumbling hood. hood. I guess it's it's woods. Mm -hmm. Forest. Okay. I <laughs> I I get it. 
There's Cheeto. Cheeto. Hey. Did we, we encountered Cheeto, right? I think we... Maybe? I don't know Maybe if we ever we did. Maybe we mentioned Cheeto. I don't we know if we actually Cheeto. went and found... Cheeto there's, does cheats. There's three locations, yeah, in the game that are very hidden that if you find Cheeto... He'll give you a co code that you can punch into the Treasure Trove Cove little uh, memory... Well, not the memory game, but the letters. Yeah. And it'll, like, double your amount of feathers or eggs or whatever. It's very nice. And this is the bonus for yeah, 100%. because we 100%ed it. Remember Shark Bay Island fan? Yeah, I do. Pictures of things we missed. Secrets used in the next game. We're gonna be another game. <laughs> it's gonna be great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I never played Banjo Tooie. Uh, same. I, I. It took me a long time to play it. It's weird because I played it last year, and I already kind of want to revisit it to see if I actually dislike it. <laughs> yeah, to, to see if, like, if on a second impression, you feel yeah. a little more charitable. Yeah. Wait, did he actually say Banjo Nuts and Bolts just there? I think that might have been added, but maybe. I'm back in that, like, I'm seeing that in the edit. Because <laughs> I definitely didn't call that shot yeah. in the original game. No, 100%. <laughs> they, they, I, do, they think, I do think they called it Banjo Tooie in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Listen. That's Banjo great. nuts, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, is a fun game. It is like I actually enjoy it a good bit. It is an extremely different kind of game. It is not a Banjo Kazooie game, really, in anything but name. It's a vehicle customization puzzle solvey thing, which mm -hmm. is a good, cool game. Just not what Banjo Kazooie fans were really wanting. Yeah, I, I need to play it at some point. I it's, recommend it's... it. Don't don't go in expecting Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Go in expecting like sort of a clever. You know that. What's that indie game that came out where you like kind of build little vehicles to try to like break down little barriers? Siege? Yes, it's that basically. Oh. It's that sort of thing, but you get pieces and you have to achieve different challenges. They can be races, they can be like demolition derbies, they can be getting a big like ball from one corner okay. of the level to another, and you can solve them any creative way you want with your like vehicle customization build. It's quite fun actually. Uh, it's just not an actual wake up game. It's not an actual banjo. Kazooie sequel of this kind. It's an entirely different kind of game. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, here's like, here's Mario 3, and it's like Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, also good, just different. Hey, there's that ice key. Isn't there also even like, um, like a, I don't, was it like a phone banjo kazooie game or something like, was there maybe i think there might have been. i feel like there's a like a pixel based banjo game huh i don't know because i've i just feel like there is i feel like i've seen pictures of it but i've never looked into it because I, 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 I believe I've it yeah about it. mystery eggs so all that stuff uh is stuff called stop and swap which the original idea was you'd get these in the game and you'd plug in the next cartridge while you have this like one loaded and it would give you secrets in the next game um it uh i don't think it worked great on the actual n64 right i i yeah i feel like it's been a while since i heard how this worked but it sounded like a feature they had in mind as a neat idea that didn't actually end up coming together in any sort of way <laughs> I, th I think i think they kind of like were like It'll it'll give you like something coming into the game, but now it's just like a, a secret bonus thing or okay, yeah. Um, but I think in the Xbox versions, they actually implement it like they originally, or one of the original ideas they had for it. Really, that's great. Um, and there's there's even stuff in two you cannot get unless you have a completed 100% banjo. Cause interesting, game. that's cool. Which that that's that idea I like. I like that's that too. Just, it's that's cute, cool. and it's it's all optional stuff. It's not like a you're missing one note kind of thing. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. That's that's great. I like that. What a clever little fun little idea. Yeah. Ah, this has been fun, y'all. If you've enjoyed this, we have played a lot of games on this channel that are <laughs> even just Dan and I have played a bunch of yeah. games on this channel that we've got playlists for all of them uh, on our channel page. Uh, consider subscribing if you're enjoying this because we're releasing stuff daily. Uh, or support us on Patreon if you want to help us keep on making this to the highest quality we can. 
And uh, we will see y'all next time. Also, by the way, I keep on forgetting to mention this. If you like the outro theme music that we've been using for the series, there's a link uh, to it where you can either buy it or download it uh, down in the description. And that's the same for all of our videos. We just always put links to the music down there in case you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, Dan and I are going to be back uh, next week probably kicking off Dark Souls 3 finally, and I'm looking forward to it. Heck yeah, <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And like, we're going to have, I think, very different builds than like we've typically done for it so i think uh, so yeah no i'm i'm going in with something i've not done in dark souls 3 actually probably a very bad build for dark souls 3 <laughs> but when what's what else is new yep <laughs> see y'all next week for dark souls everybody goodbye bye y'all Thank you.